Hi Sagittarius, it's Jodie Teresa. I'm back here today to give you a love tarot reading. I'm going to begin by looking into your feelings towards your love interest, their feelings towards you, the connection between you both, any issues that may need to be addressed and then the final outcome. So I'm just going to give the cards a good shuffle. This reading, it is relevant for all placements under the zodiac sign of Sagittarius. Cross watchers, those interested in a Sagittarius, of course you're more than welcome to join us too. And it is a general reading, so please do of course bear that in mind. It may or may not resonate with you on a personal level. Okay. How does Sagittarius feel about their love interest, please? Got a few cards here together. Okay, I've got the Three of Swords, the Seven of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. Very, very to the point cards. So we've got in the Three of Swords here feeling upset. This is emotional pain also affecting the mind um so upset uh we have here the seven of cups completely unsure as to what to do in relation to them um and the wheel of fortune so in some type of way this is indicating that you feel that this is destined that they are part of your destiny that it is a fated connection uh, so what I can see here, Sagittarius, you're deeply emotionally invested in this person, feeling a little bit upset, unsure what to do, and you feel like that they're, they're supposed to be part of your life. Very to the point cards, which is good for me as a reader, of course. I mean, if that's how you're feeling, I'm sorry, they're obviously not amazing cards, um, but we don't know what's going to come out throughout the rest of the reading, it, reading as yet. Um, how do they feel about you? How do they feel about Sagittarius, please? How does this person feel about Sagittarius, please? How do they feel about Sagittarius? We've got the Lovers, also known as the Zodiac Sign of Gemini. Beautiful, beautiful card. Okay, they may feel there is some type of distance here between you both, but they're wanting to overcome it. So they're wanting here to be closer to you on a romantic level. Please tell me more. We've got the Seven of Wands. This person holds a lot of passion for you. This is somebody who is very determined. They may even be very protective towards you. And this can also signify loyalty here on their part too. So just for instance, if somebody was to say something not very Good about you or your reputation and um, this person would defend you they're, they're very very defensive in relation to you please tell me more how does this person feel about Sagittarius please how does this person feel I've got the Empress the mother of the deck the divine feminine and we've got here together the three of Pentacles and the five of swords so there's a lot going on here on this person's mind. If you're a cross watcher watching, it may be necessary to um, be a little bit kinder to yourself when it comes to your thoughts. Alongside the Three of Pentacles here, this person is wanting things to improve between you. They're wanting here to build something and they're willing here to put in the time, energy and the effort. So you've come through here in their eyes as the Empress, whether you're a man or woman. Uh, they're viewing you here as somebody who is very kind, somebody who is very nurturing. And they're very attracted here towards your energy. So you've got beautiful cards here. I've not fluffed up the reading at all. These are the cards that I've got. Uh, the lovers here wanting to overcome this distance. Very passionate, even to the point of defensive with you or in relation to you here with that Seven of Wands. Uh, three of Pentacles wanting to build something here, wanting things to improve. Uh, five of Swords, again, if you're a cross watcher watching, there may be a need there to um, <clears throat> be thinking a little bit kinder towards yourself. It is like um, a little bit of self, what's the word, um, pain. I have no idea as to why. We will move into any issues that need to be addressed, but first I'd like to look into a connection. What can you tell me about the connection between these two, please? We've got the Five of Cups. Please tell me more. 
that could be a lingering energy from what we've just read uh queen of pentacles please tell me more about the connection between these two please we've got the six of cups please tell me more what can you tell me about the connection between these two and we've got the devil also known as capricorn okay so there's a lot a lot of emotion here between you both showing a very deep emotional connection that's coming through there's possibly a past life connection here too with that six of cups but not necessarily so past life connection is usually something that you would feel um, that you'd both feel especially around first meeting so the first initial meeting with each other in your life or the first few within the first few meetings or um how can i reword that um the first few times of seeing each other uh queen of pentacles <clears throat> and the devil okay so there's a very strong uh physical connection here between you both two so in some type of way your paths were supposed to cross um i'm not going to identify the connection here as overly beneficial or you know vice versa that it's that there's any type of of warning um so at the same time i'm, I'm really picking up here like neutral um benefits so this is not showing me that it's an overly beneficial relation relationship or overly beneficial connection um, between you both. But at the same time, I'm not seeing caution either. So I'm going to go neutral with these cards. Uh, the strongest cards there being the emotions, which to me shows a very deep emotional connection between you and this person. Now into any issues that may need to be addressed. Are there any issues, please, that may need to be addressed between these two? Are there any issues that may need to be addressed between these two, please? We've got the Emperor, the Divine Masculine, Father of the Deck. Now, the first thing that I'm getting here intuitively is in relation to balancing practicalities. Please tell me more about the Emperor. we've got the hermit so the hermit card here is dividing um what i've already got how can i explain this um okay so it's like you've both got your own priorities and responsibilities to focus upon and there's what's coming through here is the need for some type of balance when it comes to you know, like you and your priorities and your responsibilities and them and their priorities and their responsibilities. It is only something that each of you can do. And it's not just priorities and responsibilities. It's also like goals. Um, <clears throat> hopes. Um, obtainment, like what it is you're wanting to obtain to reach and vice versa for them so let's clarify some more please tell me more about the emperor okay landing on top of this i've got the moon the nine of wands and the ace of pentacles together so this is showing here to come um sagittarius there does seem to be a heck of a lot again of emotion involved here between you both and there's avoidance, there's some type of avoidance here coming through with that Nine of Wands. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here, please? Knight of Pentacles. So this is very, very slow-moving opportunity. Slow-moving Knight. Um, distant opportunity. That's, that's the right, correct way of wording it. A distant opportunity here on the horizon between you both um so i do feel like there is an opportunity here for more between you and them i just don't feel like it's anything here immediate 
as both of you seem to need to be doing things individually up until this point. Okay, that's issues and challenges that's come through there needing to be overcome. So into the final outcome for you. What is it that you can actually expect to be happening between yourself and this person? What can Sagittarius expect to be happening between themselves and this person, please? I've got the Two of Cups. Beautiful. Okay, so again, when it comes to the connection here, this is a massive card. Uh, this is showing here mutual feelings, mutual attraction, mutual respect, feeling like you're both on the same page. You may even feel like home to each other. That goes this deep. And I'm also intuitively here being brought back to the past life connection. So if this reading is resonating with you and you feel like you've got a past life connection with your person, then this is what I'm picking up here very, very strongly. Please tell me more. We've got the Six of Cups. Okay, so with this card, we could be looking at a reconciliation, of course, with the Six of Cups. But it can also identify that that past life um uh the past previous history here between you both and again i'm getting a lot of emotion here coming through so what can sagittarius expect to be happening between themselves and this person please we've got the five of wands so we have here conflict or inner conflict please clarify let's drop to the floor so bear with me got the Hierophant, also known as the High Priest. <clears throat> okay, I feel like one of you, and I'm not getting that it's both. Okay, and I know you're watching a reading now, so it's... Okay, if I'm not getting that it's either, then it's usually both. Okay, so both of you here um, seeking guidance, seeking some type of guidance. Although I feel like you're seeking guidance from different places... Sagittarius, I feel like you're you're more seeking guidance here from spirituality. So not just through watching my reading now. That could be, you know, praying, asking for signs. Um, and I feel like they are more turning to a person. So I feel like both of you here are seeking guidance, but in different ways. We're clarifying that five of wands. So it's in, in relation here to some type of conflict or inner conflict. Now, if again, if I don't get either way, it's usually both. Um, so there could be conflicts here between you as well as inner conflict. Any more cards, please? What can Sagittarius expect to be happening between themselves and this person? And we've got the Wheel of Fortune, which is a big caution to me as a reader and uh, not to push too much on this card because there's actually a fated event between you um call it fate call it destiny um fate is at, is at play when the wheel of fortune appears and it is for any reader and for certain tools whether it be tarot or runes um or scrying if destiny appears within the reading you're not supposed to push upon the card so I know that's not everybody's favourite thing to hear, um, but yes, that is indicating that there's more to come between you and that it's fated at the same time. It is also advising me not to be pushing any further. So I feel like your connection between you is strong enough for things to accumulate into more. Um, please do comment and let me know if you feel like you yourself have got this past life connection between you and your person. And um, I'm going to close off the reading here and move into some, some oracle messages. Now, I will extend this reading looking further into this person's intentions towards you, uh, more into their feelings for you and digging a little bit deeper into what it is to come. But of course, I have to be cautious as a reader with that card that's just appeared. Okay, so beginning here with, I'm being drawn to this deck, which is my custom deck. Are there any messages here for Sagittarius, please? We will meet. Any more messages, please? There is love. 
there is love we will meet and I'll close off with an Archangel message Archangel Michael message any messages here for Sagittarius please spend more time outdoors you guys are known to love the outdoors so the prayer and guidance reads as follows it's entirely up to you if you wish to read this within prayer or to follow the guidance Thank you for motivating me to spend more time outdoors and for helping me relax and enjoy connecting with nature. Sagittarius, spend more time outdoors. Okay, so I hope this has helped you today. I shall be back again soon. Until next time, I hope that it's helped and you've enjoyed it. If it has, please do remember to give me a thumbs up, of course. And if you've not yet subscribed, do consider subscribing to my channel. That way you should hopefully receive notifications for upcoming readings. The link will be available below for the extended if you're wanting to join. Until next time, thank you for watching. Lots of love and bye for now.